Or are you nervous? You go first. No. I was terrified. I don't know if I want to like make this commitment. I cried because I was stressed. You need counseling. <laughs> but we, we don't. But we did. And they were just like ignoring us. We're like, guys, we have to go. So here's the deal. We got married and we're answering questions about the wedding. Yeah. Just not the ones we don't want to answer. We asked you on Instagram and on YouTube to ask us questions about our wedding. We got um, many questions, so we're just going to be going through a few of them. And yeah, we're all just going to get started. First question is, have you gone on a honeymoon? Multiple people asked that. And... Yes! We have. We have two vlogs uploaded before this video about our Hawaii honeymoon. It was awesome. They're good videos. You should watch them. It yeah, was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. We went to Oahu and Maui and some of the highlights were... There's a guy in our room, a guy in our room. fixing our air conditioning. Did you get the experience you wanted considering COVID? Yes. I think we did. Yeah. We had fewer people than originally we planned for. We still got to do a lot of wedding things. We still got to have our family and our close friends. Yeah, and we had the caterers who were still there, and the food was great. Yeah, the food was really good. Yeah. When you think about your wedding, like, a long time ago, before COVID was a thing, you never expected people would be wearing masks and, and all of that. Like, you never expected to have to deal with pandemic things, and, like, people canceling last second because, you know, they may have been exposed to COVID. Everything that happened was perfect, and I couldn't imagine it any other way because I just really enjoyed it. So the answer, short answer to that question is yes. <laughs> Were you nervous? You go first. No. You weren't nervous at all? Not really. I was terrified. I always assumed that like when people said they were nervous, they were nervous because they were like, I don't know if I want to like make this commitment and like, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, I wasn't nervous about I mean, I was nervous about, like, the dances I had to do and stuff. Right, but, that's what I mean. Like, but yeah. That's little... why I was terrified. Like, I wasn't terrified about marrying you. Like, I 100% knew that I wanted to do that. Like, there was no doubt in my mind. Like, and I didn't have any doubt that you wanted to go back on it either. So I wasn't worried about him not wanting to or me not wanting to or any of that. And that's what I always assumed because, like, in the movies, it's always like, do I want to do this, you know? But for me, it was just nervous. I was just nervous because like, I had to walk down the aisle with a bunch of people staring at me. After the ceremony was over, everything was just completely yeah. fine. Like I was nervous about uh, my dance with you, my dance with my mom. Oh, I wasn't even nervous about that. I figured if those went wrong, it didn't matter. But like the ceremony is like, what if I mess up what I'm saying? I don't know why. But for me, that was like the hard part. Yeah. Next question is, who sang the best karaoke? Yeah, we had karaoke at the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. Probably... Us. Just... Yeah, probably us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did good. I'm just kidding. No, we did really good. No. I was very nervous about that. Like, I was shaking the entire time for that, too. You made me. I made you. Yeah. Maybe John. John did really good. I thought your grandfather did a good job. Yeah, he did. That was fun. That was adorable. Yeah. Did you cry while walking down the aisle? <laughs> I didn't cry. Wait, did I cry while or did I cry yeah, when I, I got the end? No, about it. You were still walking while at the end, so you did. Okay. I, well, either way, yes, but not for the reason that I should have been crying. <laughs> I'm actually trying to forget that I cried, so like, I might not even put this in the video because I don't want to remember that I did because I didn't cry because I was like happy, I cried because I was stressed. <laughs> you cried because you saw someone else cry. I also saw, yeah, his brother, his best man was crying. I was already stressed and trying not to cry, and then I saw someone else crying and it just made me cry. That's why I'm trying to forget because like the feeling of the crying wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is like the happiest day ever. The feeling of the crying was like, I'm going to have a panic attack if I don't stop crying right now. And everyone's looking at me and what do I do? And I was like, what if people think I don't want to marry him because I'm crying and like I don't want to do this. And I was just like every scenario going through my head. It stopped eventually. My dad was like, take deep breaths. I don't know what happened during that whole part of the wedding, like walking down the aisle. I walked in, I saw one person, and then I saw Gray, and I saw Jack, 
his brother, and those were the only people I saw. Yeah, I don't remember what anyone said. I don't remember who was there. Like, so. I mean, everyone obviously was there, but yeah, like, yeah, I but I didn't, I didn't see like, where they sat. Yeah, I didn't notice people while we were actually doing the thing. Mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, I need to do this, then this, then I need to walk around over here, <laughs> then I need to hold your hand, then I need to not hold your and hand, Grimm then I need was... to hold your other hand, and then I need to say a thing again. Then we need to turn this direction or this direction, and then we need to repeat this stuff, and then we need to light this candle. And so. And I'm usually so good at that kind of stuff. Like, I remember, like, where I am and stuff, but, like, my mind was just, like, going insane. And, like, I'm so glad that you knew what you were doing because you were, like, bleeding me. Oh, did you cry? A little bit. Not as much as some of my groomsmen did, and my best man. But I did a little bit. Yeah, Grimm was mainly yeah. just smiling. I, I cried more at the rehearsal, actually, because I could, like, relax and, like, take in what was going on at the rehearsal. But during the actual thing, I was just so focusing on, like, what we had to do next mm -hmm. that I didn't want to screw something up. Why did you pick the date you picked, and congratulations. That date was originally right before my spring break, and so we picked it so that we could take the next week and go on our honeymoon without me missing any class for He's law in school. law school. Yeah, yeah. I'm, in, I'm in law school. But they changed my spring break so that only half of that week I got off, so we were still able to miss some of it without missing much class, but I did miss some class, but it was worth it because it was a honeymoon. Yeah, and we also picked that date because originally we we wanted to get married kind of soon. Like, we didn't want to put it off for like over a year or anything. We were looking at January because you had winter break, but we wanted to be farther away from January because we figured like COVID might still be really bad then. So we wanted to be farther out when more people would be vaccinated, which a lot of people who were at the wedding were vaccinated, mm -hmm. especially the older people that were there, which was good. Did y'all add any special vows? What kind of cake did you have? We didn't really add any special vows. We talked with, we, there was a lot of prep leading up to this with the pastor who married us. And we did a lot of it out we of- We had to do premarital counseling. Yeah, which was rad. Yeah. And. <laughs> We, uh, basically... I'm sorry. It's not it's, because it's dumb, it's yeah. everything in it was important, we just already knew it, because we're complete we're pros, pros at marriage. at being a couple. And we already know everything we would need to know to be a successful couple. That's just gonna make us sound, like, so ridiculously cocky. So and you, like, you need counseling. <laughs> but we, we don't. But we didn't. No, yeah. just, we're just kidding. Um, so we did some prep with the pastor before we got married, and we talked about what we wanted to be included in the service. And we it's doing that thing where it's following like a thing again. See? Whoa. Why does it do that? Whoa. I was saying we did some prep with the uh, pastor yeah, sorry. before we got married. And we ended up picking the pretty traditional vows out of the Book of Common Prayer. Yeah. There were some things that we wanted to make sure were in there, but we didn't make anything up. We chose stuff that people have used for a long time. We really wanted the response to the questions of intent to be, I will instead of I do, because we didn't want to talk about how we feel today or what we're doing today, but we wanted to make it clear that we're making a promise toward the future. Why change something that's so perfect the way that it is, you know? Yeah. Those, so, those that, were the vows that we wanted to be bound by, right. because it's a promise and those that's what we wanted to promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the cake, because that was the second part of the question, the cake was a yellow cake and it had raspberry filling and fudge filling, chocolate yeah. fudge. It was so good, and then it had white buttercream on the outside. And it was decorated with white roses, and it was really, really pretty. I'll show a picture of that. It was made by a bakery that I always went to as a kid, and I always saw the wedding cakes like in their little display case, and I always was like mesmerized by the wedding cakes. How did you do the music? Hire a DJ, make your own playlist? Did you even have a dance? Yes. Yeah, we did have a dance. We, we did have a dance. We <laughs> hired a DJ. He did an awesome job putting together music for the whole evening. A lot of a lot of it was music we gave him from our days in marching band. And so we played, not the marching band version, but the original version of songs that we played in marching, in, in band. marching band at the University of Virginia. Yeah. And so that was fun because a lot of... Because that's how we met yeah. and everything. And, it was, and they're like good songs. And, you know, he, he was really nice. He was he made the evening flow along. It was really awesome. I recommend having a DJ unless you want to have like a live band or something. But like, he just kind of announced stuff and it was very helpful. And he had these 
two tables that he like used to separate himself from the guests and everything. So like he was COVID safe and all of that. So it was great. It was really good. Yeah. Did we explain how it was in a tent? It was this massive tent. It was huge. Like it could have held like five times the amount of people that were actually in the tent. Like we were trying to really social distance and all of that. So it was, but it ended up being beautiful in there. There was like this, um, what's it called? Bistro lighting. It was 20 degrees that night. So it was freezing outside, but the tent was super warm because there were all these heaters in it, but then it also had airflow from outside, which was like good for COVID and all of that. So it was actually, it was perfect for everything. Yeah. Somebody asked how I was feeling which has nothing to do with the wedding. But one thing that I will say is that my oncologist let me stop taking my medicine uh, before the wedding through the honeymoon. So I was feeling fantastic <laughs> through that entire time, which was really nice. Now I'm kind of just back to the way I was, which is eh. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel great, a little gassy. I mean, all that sausage I ate. I'm allergic to gassy. How did you pick out your dress? Great question. So I got my dress made by these guys who make dress. <laughs> I am having a hot flash. Good one. And it's very hot. <laughs> I went to a little bridal shop. Oh man. I think the air conditioning repairman just fell off the roof. <laughs> the designer wasn't making any more of that particular style of dress, so it was the last one. It was close enough to my size that they could alter it. They didn't have to like make to order one because if they had to do that, then I wouldn't have been able to have this dress. Any special traditions slash moments you added to your wedding? We added the shoe game. We did. Dances was with our parents. Yeah, I had a dance with my dad, he had a dance with his mom, we, did we a, had a dance together. We did a generational dance. That was probably the coolest part yeah. of the reception where we had everyone who's married go out on the floor and then they would kind of go up in time. And if you've been married for more than, less than that amount of time, then you would leave the floor. So we would li we left because we were most recently married. Yeah. <laughs> and then so on, all the way up to my grandparents who've been married 60 years. Yeah, they were going to be celebrating their 60th anniversary just later in the month so it was really cool that like that was happening the same month that we had our wedding everything about our wedding was just so awesome i had it was like the best night ever after our wedding we had a sparkler exit that was fun that was cool except for like they were short sparklers and like the people at the end that were closest to us were taking forever and not letting us walk past like you guys who are at the end, like, what the heck? Our event planner was like, go, go now. And then the people were like reaching across the aisle so we couldn't get past them. We were like, guys, we're trying to go. Guys, we gotta go. And they were just like ignoring us. We're like, guys, we have to go. And so by the time we got to the middle, their sparklers had all run out because yeah. they started them. And then and they were supposed to, but the people at the end had had time to get out a second sparkler and relight it. So. Yeah. So that was It was fun. a mess. It and, was great. And then we immediately drove, it was like 10.30 or, or around then that we were exiting, and we immediately drove to Richmond because that's where our flight was going to be leaving out of the next morning to go to Hawaii. And it was going to be leaving at, was it 8 a.m.? Like so that. we had to actually leave the hotel at like 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. So we didn't really sleep that much. We slept for like two hours and yeah we were exhausted but we had like the caterer packed us up some of our appetizers and our food and she got us sparkling grape juice because we don't really like champagne or wine well he likes champagne champagne's good but sparkling grape juice wine. is just so much better it just yeah it's tasty yeah so that was fun and then we went to hawaii and you can see what we did in hawaii in those other videos yeah yeah so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, check out some of the other ones and subscribe. And here's the thing about the bell. Turn it on if you want notifications about when we make new videos,
But if you don't want that, that's annoying to you, don't turn it on. Just subscribe because it supports us. You're the first person I've ever heard say that. You should watch all of our videos. Yeah, but I mean, like... If you, if you, but you might have to go like seek them out and find I'm them. I'm just thinking about me as a person and it annoys me when I get like a million emails. Like, this person uploaded a video. I just like to log on to YouTube and then when I see like who I'm subscribed to on the front, then I click on a video. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying about the bell. Like, do it if you want, don't do it if you don't, but... Do it. Doesn't hurt to subscribe, it's free. Alright, that's all. Bye.